yeah welcome to my channel in this video we are going to be looking at hallmarks or futures or characteristics or pillars of research yeah we are handling business research skills or research methods yeah. so in this video we are going to look at the hallmarks futures characteristics or pillars of research or scientific research yeah first is Purposiveness. Research should have an intended purpose to serve, like a problem to solve. It should not just be far. You're supposed to do research when you, you're aiming at something. When you want maybe to solve something, to achieve something, to know something, to come up with something. Yeah, things like that. So, purposiveness. Research should have an intended purpose to serve. Then, reader have a methodological design which is scientific and logical when you're doing research you're supposed to use a method that is scientific or logical there should be steps to follow to reach certain conclusions yeah then isolated variables we said we have two variables and that is independent var variables they can they can work on their own and then the dependent variables they depend on the independent variables so isolated variables when you're doing research you're supposed to first separate the independent from the dependent variables then replicability replicability in this principle every search must be able to be repeated and the steps should be clear like when you're doing research you're you're supposed to rate the steps down so that someone else can also be able to do that research or you yourself you can be able to do that research again so replicability every research must be able to be repeated precision precision findings should be as accurate as possible like try as you can to make less errors so that your research is next to reality it's next to the real thing yes so that is precision then objectivity we said objectivity is the opposite of subjectivity subjectivity is based on someone's opinion so objectivity it means that your research should not be based on your opinion but it should be based on the findings the things that you find out it should be based on data yeah then generalization generalization you results should be used in various situations your research should be able to be used in different situations then parsimony parsimony here try to uncover but meaningful and significant results not something vast and complex results should be easily understood and explained like when you do research try to explain don't just write things don't just outline try to explain a few things yeah so that your results can easily be understood by the target audience yeah so those are the hallmarks characteristics or features of research we have purposiveness we have rigor isolated variables replicability precision objectivity generalization and parsimony then we go to the importance of research how is research important yeah here they're telling us that try to differentiate the aims from importance the aims of research are different from the importance of research in our previous video we say that some of the aims of research is to discover to interpret things like that yeah so in the, in this video we are going to look at the importance of research yeah and the importance of research include first research helps decision makers to make informed decisions for instance the government can analyze the needs and desires of people so as to come up with proper projects so once you make research you can be able to make a decision from an informed mind yeah, after you researching about the problem you can be able to come up with a solution from an informed mind yeah 
then it contributes to the existing knowledge by adding more information about the environment problems that affect organizations or institutions once you do research you're adding to the knowledge that you have to the knowledge that is available so it contributes to the existing knowledge by adding more information then research it comes up it comes in with new discoveries once you do research its main one of its aims is to discover so it comes in with new discoveries you discover a lot of things that you didn't know yeah i.e philosophers or thinkers may bring out new ideas to solve various problems then it is used as a basis of learning by looking at the past current and the future once you do research most of the times we do research because our main aim is to learn our main aim is to get knowledge so research is used as a basis of learning when you look at the past history what is happening right now and then the future then it helps in identification and reduction of threats and provides a way of turning them into opportunities yeah, once you do research and you know threats that you're having maybe as an organization and then do more research on the ways of turning those threats into opportunity yeah. research can help then it helps in market research research with regard to demand and market factors market analysis and projects on product customer needs which is a great tool to business and lastly it is used in performance management yeah you you do research on how to improve on the performance of your business maybe by benchmarking yeah and other things so those are the different importances of research first is helps decision makers to make informed decisions then it contributes to the existing knowledge by adding more information. It comes in with new discoveries. It is used as a basis of learning. It helps in identification and reduction of threats. It helps in market research. And lastly, it is used in performance management. Yeah, so those were the importances of research. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment share with your friends and watch my next video we shall be continuing with our topic